Hello Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading. This is going to be for December and today we're taking a look at love, career, things you need to work on, focus on during this month. And keep in mind this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other signs but if it does, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, comment, anything that you can do to support this channel is very, very welcomed. Uh, okay. And... Uh, when we're talking about love, keep in mind that worlds could be reversed. So always say what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we have solitude, find balance. We also have focus, the masculine, and blossoming. Okay, so I kind of feel that you were a little bit scared of trusting. Specifically when it comes to love, I kind of feel like you've got used to your solitude, you've got used to your time alone, and now that a new person may be coming up with this new love here, you're kind of like, oh shit, now this whole thing is gonna happen again. Now this whole, like, ex and my past relationships all over again. Great, I'm so excited for that. And it's... It, it is going to go okay. I really feel like it is. Because this person, I honestly don't feel like it's the same sort of vibe that you used to deal with. I feel like they are different. There is a lot of passion here. But there is an ex that needs to be released. And I do feel like it's literally an ex. Someone that may actually come back for some of you. Um, try to reconnect. Try to connect with you. Try to, you know reconciliation and stuff wouldn't trust it and i really feel like that that person needs to go to make room for this new person to come in okay because i really feel like there's something really really good that could grow from here and with this masculine here i really feel like you need to put some boundaries up when it comes to that ex because i really feel like someone here if it's not an ex it's someone from the past. Someone here is trying to connect with you, is trying to move things with you, and I don't get really good vibes from it, okay? But from this new love, though, I really feel like it has potential. So let's see. What do we got? Ooh, Knight of Cups. Nice. For the oral energy here. And, oh, look at this, Eight of Pentacles, Fool, Ace of Wands, the Star. So, whatever you're moving your heart towards, you're, I feel like you're trying to block it a little bit and being like, oh no, I have so much to do in career. I have so much, so much places to go. I have so much to do. And you're not really appreciating or following your heart and going where you really want to go. Allowing your heart to speak. Again, I really feel like you've got used to your alone time. And now actually opening up to other people is really difficult. But let's see where we go here. So we have death in your current situation. So a lot of things transforming. And more than, transform and more than transforming and transformation, I feel like it's about movement. I feel like a lot of things are moving. And with this page of swords, uh, in your message from your higher self, it's like, look around. Look around at this new person and really figure out if they are real or not. And I feel like you'll figure out that they are. And look around at that ex, especially. Do your own research on how they are right now, where they are right now. And you may find some not so good things. I do feel like you've put or you tried to put a lot of burdens in the past and that's why you got so good with yourself. That's why you got so good with being by yourself. Now the thing is, I feel like you got good at being by yourself but not really good at healing, which are two different things. And that may be a little bit block because you do have the four of swords here in your blocks. So there, that may be something that you need to work on. It's actually using the time to not only be alone, but to actually heal. 
because I feel like self-care and self-love was really important and I do feel like you had a really good, you made a really good movement in that direction, but there was the healing part that was missing to create that balance of, okay, I know how to enjoy my alone time, but I also know and appreciate how to spend my time with others, how to give my time and my energy to others, okay? Things working in your favor, we have the will of fortune, divine timing, and amazing, amazing things coming towards you with different energy, different vibes, okay? So for you, we have, ooh, that's, that's really amazing. So if you have been focusing, let's start with career. If you have been working really hard, you're starting to create your own independence. And your, your hard work is really being paid off. Because you're starting to see the benefits of, okay, I've, I've spent among, I've spent um, endless nights not sleeping. I did some things that I shouldn't, like not eating, not drinking enough water, not exercising, but hey, it was worth it because now I'm creating this nine of pentacles. Now I'm creating this stability for myself. I'm creating this independence. For some of you, if you do want to move out, you may start seeing hope in it. And you may actually start to be able to look at houses, to look at places to go. Something that you would only dream before and now it's really becoming possible, okay? When it comes to love, I so love seeing this because you're both showing up as pages. You're showing up as a page of wands. They're showing up as a page of pentacles. So you're with all this vitality and all this, oh my God, I'm so curious. Oh my God, this is so amazing. And it's more about, I feel like you're not necessarily in a... Not that, I'm, not that I'm calling you a player, but I don't think that your priority right now is a relationship. I don't feel like your priority right now is a commitment. I feel like you want to have fun. That's it. I want to get to know you people. No strings attached. That's it. Totally fine. But this person, they really want new beginnings. They really want a new beginning with you. They're really curious about you. And they start wondering what you two together could do. More than just um, nasty stuff, but also the good things that you can create together. The relationship that you could have together. But for you to connect with that person on that level, you sort of need to open your heart a little bit. Okay. But let me clarify here the page of swords. Get some more information. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Chariot, and Straight. So it's that thing. I kind of feel like the ex may be showing up as, oh, hey, I'm so good now. I'm so balanced. I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm willing to take things very slowly if you want to. Things are going to be amazing. B.S. B.S. And that page of swords, that message from your higher self is telling you, hey, Look at the things that you need to block. Look at the things that you need to put a blindfold off and, and pretend that that person doesn't exist. And look at the things that actually are worth pursuing with this chariot and strength card. Could definitely be dealing with a Cancer Leo cusp um, or one of those signs individually. Not necessarily though. But look at the things that actually make you feel alive. That actually mess with things inside of you. Mess with your heart. Those are the things that are worth going towards. This person, okay? This new love, not the ex, the new love, okay? And you may not know this person yet, by the way. That could be one of the things that are happening in your favor, right? So let's see this page of pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. And, oh, God. Um, I just feel that this person has been dealing with a lot of drama, a lot of toxic people. And they may be a little bit, mm, I'm not sure if I should move. I'm not sure if this is safe. So they're going to be like, they're curious and they really want to see, to see where things could go. But at the same time, 
it is pentacle energy, it is earth energy, so it's going to be very slow because they want to create something solid with a good foundation for this four of wands. They have a lot of love to give. They are a very pure person in intention. They really have a good heart. They are not a player whatsoever. They have, again, I feel like they have a different vibe. You possibly also connected with a lot of player in the past, player energy, dated to, and now this person feels different because now they want a committed relationship. Now they want something solid and they are, they can give that. More than wanting, they can give that. Okay? So I do feel like it's worth opening your heart to them. Okay, let me see the C. Uh, let me see the Nine of Pentacles for finances and career. So you could have gone through a partnership that didn't quite go well. And now is the time to go solo. More than that, I feel like it's not necessarily about going solo. is knowing when to go solo and when to actually let people in. Not in a partnership kind of way, but in a help kind of way. Asking for help. Knowing when people actually have stuff to give you and using them. Not in a manipulative or deceptive way. It's just working with them to get to that purpose. It's done. It's done. Fine. It's not a partnership like, I don't know, you being business partners. Something like that. No. You're going solo, you're going with your own ideas, you're going with your own king of wands. You know exactly where you want to go, you know exactly where you want to do, and that is creating that independence that you so need. That is creating a lot of balance, and that is transforming past partnerships that didn't go that well into good ones, because you're starting to remember things that you've learned with those specific people and using those things. So not everything had a bad outcome okay but let me pull some messages and advice for you from the universe and then we'll pull some messages from the person that you're connecting with okay anything else all right so let's actually start here with the ask for help, which is exactly what I just um, talked about, okay? We also have, look around, there's something you're not seeing, so that's Page of Swords. You gotta be that Page of Swords, you gotta be that spy, that investigator, okay? Really look around. Something needs to end. The ex definitely needs to go. Keep an open mind about this person, because they really have pure intentions. Take a, a step back, relax, eat pizza, Okay, we're by your side, listen to your inner child, and I feel like this is all about career, you know, you're definitely being guided, we're by your side, well, you're definitely being guided all around, but when it comes to your career, let go of control a little bit, you know, enjoy the things that you're doing, enjoy the things that be a kid, you know, just listen to your inner child, I don't necessarily feel like it's inner child issues, I feel like it's you connecting with that inner child and having fun, doing things that make you feel good. Also in love. Be a little bit wild. Be a little spontaneous. Okay? So yeah, this... Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> we're not done yet. Let me pull some messages from this person that you're connecting with. Okay. No flipper. No flipper. Let's see, let's see. So, let's actually start here. I see a future with you. You are my one true love. You light me up inside. He's not a problem anymore. So, the ex situation could actually be from your person. That they need to release their player ex. That is being taken care of, okay? For you, I kind of feel like there is also a third party around you, okay? There might be. It's obviously not going to be for everyone. But if there is... Definitely release that person. And with that, I see a future. You are, my one, you are my one true love. It's more, and you light me up inside. I feel like you show them a different way of love. You allow them to actually be happy. You allow them to actually create something inside called love. That is true love. 
you brought them something different. Okay, so now, now it is time. I hope this resonated, hope it helped somehow, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.